So this weekend we have a movie starring Jesus Christ himself, and that movie is non-stop. Shh, don't lie to yourself. You know it's true. Non-stop. So non-stop stars Liam Neeson. He plays a marshal. He's on an airplane flying across the Atlantic. Then he gets a text message on his super secret closed network cell phone. And the text message says someone on the flight is going to die every 20 minutes until this guy gets $150 million. And after that, it's a downward spiral of events for Liam Neeson while he's trying to figure out what's going on. And then chaos starts happening on the airplane because it's an airplane. And you have a list of suspects, honestly. This movie starts out, you're going through the airport and you see people and you're like, oh, that guy looks shady. It's going to be him. That dude's shady too. It's gonna be him. Maybe it's the little seven-year-old girl who was afraid to fly on the plane. You don't know. Liam Neeson was good in the role. I mean, he's always good in these roles because he always has fun with these roles. I honest to God think he talks with his agent every morning. He's like, any scripts on my desk where I get to play an older badass? Yes, cool. Let's do that. He's pretty badass, but in this movie, he's kind of a dick also. He gets this dude in an arm hold and he's like, can you point out who you saw? And he's dragging this guy all about the cabin in this arm hold that's clearly painful. You're like, Just be a little more diplomatic. I feel like Liam Neeson could have been like, all right, I really need your help. If you can point out this guy you saw, it would save lives. Can you do that for me? Then if he gives you shit, put his face up against the glass and be like, I'm gonna blow out that window if you don't help me. Think about those movies. You look at the movie and you're like, it's completely functional. I am enjoying the movie. Only thing is you have to suspend your disbelief on a lot of shit. Everything is so perfect in this movie. The premise is someone's gonna die every 20 minutes, but it's not A to B. It's not like this guy is killing people. It's like things are set in motion and then it happens to work out for the guy's plan. It works for a script. Like the words on paper, that is a script because the screenwriters are like, watch, we can write a series of events that ends up working out perfectly for the guy because we're screenwriters. That's what we do. This shit takes me out of it because I'm like, there's no way the world would be that perfect for the guy. On the nose, 20 minutes, Liam Neeson's watch starts beeping and someone is now dead. Every step in between worked out flawlessly with all these variables that screwed up. No. It's like when things were screwed up in the movie, they actually didn't screw up. They were working with the guy's plan. I refuse to believe they have Q from Star Trek The Next Generation on this flight because that's who could make it happen. Q. And even then he'd be like, Yes, it's not working. It's too hard. It's just stupid, grievously savage child race. So nonstop is not realistic. Nothing makes sense. It's cheesy, but fun enough to be kind of interesting while it's cheesy and enjoyable to watch all around. I will say nonstop is a good time. No alcohol required. So your favorite Liam Neeson movie of all time anything he's done. What is it? Whatever it be, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.